when I was talking about the physiology of gustation or physiology of taste, we have seen the chemical uh, signal that is converted to the cellular signal. And then the cell are depolarized and send information to the cerebral cortex. So during the discussion, we have also come across the terminology, amyloride sensitive sodium channel. So these are epithelial sodium channel present, present in various parts of our body like cardiovascular system or blood vessel, nephron, and even uh, brain. So these channels formerly known as amyloride sensitive sodium channel due to their sensitivity to amyloride. So amyloride is a potassium sparing diuretics. So here in the physiology of taste, we have discussed the salt. Uh, when, we, when the salt is put in the tongue or in our mouth, this sodium, they entered into the cell through this channel, epithelial sodium channel and cause depolarization of the cell. And then they release the neurotransmitter and information goes to the cerebral cortex for taste perception. And uh, this drug uh, blocks this channel. So I mean, right? And because of this drug, when we talk about the nephron, this drug block the sodium reabsorption. And so sodium reabsorption and uh, and then these channels, because this drug can um, act upon this channel, these are also called amyloride sensitive sodium channel. Even uh, antidiuretic hormone and losterone, they can also stimulate this channel and increase the sodium reabsorption in the nephron. But in the taste bud, we have seen the salt there, these cells having the epithelial sodium channel, they're sensitive to sodium and uh, sodium enters when the salt is put in our mouth and the cell is depolarized and send the and, uh, sensory information, sensory neurons are stimulated. So because of this drug amyloride, they can bind with the epithelial sodium channel. So these channels are all, also formerly, it was known as amyloride potassium, uh, uh, sorry, amyloride sensitive sodium channel. Okay, thank you.